home-based business uh, has been around, uh, you know, it's not new. A lot of people think that this is uh, very new and very niche. Uh, it's not. Uh, historically speaking, uh, most business were home-based, right? So in medieval time, you know, goldsmith, dryers, barbers, uh, armorers, they're all home-based uh, and it's using an apprenticeship a method so you pass your skill down to your children or you pass your skill down to an apprentice and they work out of your house right uh, maybe uh, you know in a, in a uh, adjacent uh, space but uh, it is still considered as home base people visit your house uh, you know to basically get their service or their products now home based business uh, only recently uh, as recent as 1970 uh, it started uh, in, a, in an office setting so it, all of us are very familiar with working out of the office, but this working out of the office is not uh, a new thing. I mean, not, not a very long t long time thing. It is a, it's quite new. And even when we first started, uh, it is uh, started as a uh, administration uh, office. So governments uh, have their administration office in a central location where they have offices. Uh, not like currently you have businesses that use office. So uh, office is actually new as compared to home base uh, uh, business now i uh, just want to cover this point uh, home base guidelines uh, so some we did some introduction of knowing that okay home base is not so new so it is it has been around uh, so there's a lot of knowledge out there uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, because we are in Singapore, there are also a lot of guidelines that we need to uh, make sure that we comply with so that we don't uh, get ourselves into trouble. And so these are some of the guidelines. Uh, Home-based business, uh, they are actually managed under two areas, urban redevelopment and housing development board. And the fact is that's home-based, right? So HDB definitely is involved because you're working out of your HDB flats or URA. Uh, so these are the two um, uh, agency that manages this. You can go to the respective agency and look at uh, the details. So if you're running your home base uh, out of uh, URA uh, own uh, facilities, then you'll follow the URA uh, guidelines. Uh, the guidelines are quite similar, uh, just a, a slight difference in one or two areas. Uh, HDB definitely uh, will be uh, the one that have more details because they are, they, you affect the people around you because it is actually a residential area. So uh, we'll cover both of them, but you can get more information by going to the website actually. I just summarize uh, some of the things that uh, these two agency put down uh, for us. Uh, these are not the full uh, all the guidelines, but these are the main guidelines. So even no more in regards to the kind of uh, a business that you are you intend to do. Uh, then you will have to maybe go down and, and, and read more. Uh, there are quite a fair bit of things to read. Uh, business address have to be your residence. So if you notice, this is a home-based business. It's not a red, uh, kind of like your actual business. So you're running out of the home. So uh, uh, you cannot register your home as a business address, right? So that is the, one of the, the first thing you need to take note of. Uh, this this part, advertising, is, is always very contentious uh, because we, we had this, uh, uh, every time we run this program, we get this question a lot uh, because they, uh, this two part in terms of URA, uh, as long as you don't show display of business sign board outside your your location, uh, on the doors or windows, it is okay. For HDB, there's an additional clause of uh, advertising on newspaper, paid online advertisement, including mobile platform. So sometimes you get this question as, oh, does it mean that I cannot uh, advertise? I uh, cannot promote it on my social media. Uh, or cannot use my Instagram to promote my business, or I cannot use my WhatsApp. Uh, I think the keyword here is the word paid. Uh, so uh, the examples are the examples of paid uh, advertisement. So if your social media, uh, word of mouth is not paid, uh, social media uh, is not paid, unless you use a blogger, you pay a blogger to do the work, then it's called paid. Uh, social media, if you have your own Facebook, Instagram, and you just send it to your followers or your friends, or uh, then those are not considered as paid advertisement. Um, in that, in if you use that form, then yes, you, are, you won't uh, uh, go against uh, the, the requirement. So just keep in mind, do not uh, have any paid advertisement, whether it is physical or uh, online. And the business activity 
it is wise. Uh, the key thing here is not to disturb your neighbors. Lah. I think that is a, the broad guideline. Um, this, disturbing the neighbors could mean a lot of things. One, you could clock up the corridors. Uh, that is disturbing your neighbors. Uh, you could make a lot of noise. Uh, in, in doing this, this this business and then uh, it's also disturbing your neighbors or you could be cooking and uh, the, the smell and the fumes uh, is uh, overbearing and so that's also considered as disturbing your neighbors so uh, and also the time basically you know you start like too early or uh, end too late uh, that's disturbing your business uh, the neighbors uh, there are also things like uh, if you have to move things out of your you store things in your house let's say you're doing a kind of uh, uh, online business and you need to move it and the thing is uh, very bulky and you use a leaf and you and, and, and it becomes a bit dangerous and uh, that is also considered as uh, being a hazard to your neighbors all this will basically uh, be not allowed so uh, keep in mind, uh, home-based business is, at the end of the day, it is in the home. So do keep your neighbor uh, well taken care of. Uh, rules and regulation, there are a lot of other rules and regulations. Over and above, uh, URA and HDB uh, depends on the product that you sell and uh, the service that you provide. There are definitely uh, rules and regulation applying to those services and products. Uh, some of them may affect uh, Food, Singapore Food Agency, uh, SFA, uh, in regards to cooking, uh, you see your uh, um, big cakes or cookies, you know, or you serve some food, uh, they'll come under that. And uh, if you do cooking in your house, uh, your fire safety and uh, shelter department will come to play. So you need to make sure that your, uh, your home is well, uh, you know, ventilated and uh, so fire safety uh, provision is made. So these are some examples. And just share with you the recent incident. I think some of you will probably be uh, aware of this. Uh, if not, uh, this uh, gentleman actually uh, rear chicken in his house and he uh, sold the, the chicks and the feeds to uh, so-called the community, the group, uh, the community. And uh, this happened actually uh, found out in 2019, somewhere in April 2019. But the charges only happened this year. Uh, 2021 so there's a spread of two years uh, and so uh, the the reason why I'm putting up this example is that uh, just to remind you it's not a it may the fine may not be that big but the stress of waiting for the outcome in two years uh, you know could kill someone uh, and the stress can kill so yeah it, it is quite frightening if you are not careful uh, in terms of um, making sure that you follow the guideline. In this case, uh, the key guideline that they, they this person did not uh, fulfill is the first one, guilty to maintaining a farm without license under the animals and bird rule. So uh, yeah, you go to the internet, you see a lot of people talking about it, uh, but the, it, it is actually uh, properly uh, documented. Uh, so what, these are things if you're unsure in the future of your business or product, it is not common. Uh, it's always better to check uh, with the agencies uh, to make sure that you do not uh, go against any requirements. An example, of, this one example of this is that actually uh, this is found in the industrial guide for starting a farm. So if this gentleman have uh, checked uh, earlier and look at starting a farm, they, she will know that he need to apply uh, through the agency, in this case, uh, Singapore Food uh, Agency to get it approved. And uh, if, they, if we got the approval, then he could have continued with rearing the, the chicks without uh, going foul of the, of the law. But in this case, uh, you know, uh, he did not uh, take, did not check this. And now he, he, he got fined 2000 and basically the business cannot continue. So I think, uh, and, and again, uh, the reason why uh, the agency went to uh, to look at his, his place, you know, is that it was a complaint from the neighbors. So neighbors, uh, they're very powerful. So uh, make sure that you uh, you take care of them and make sure that you do not go foul against the law, which make sure that you check uh, all the guidelines necessary, not just the URA and HDB, but all guidelines that's related to your product, basically. Now I'm going to go on to the next part of the topic here. We're going to talk about the types of home-based business uh, what are some of the var variation that uh, that applies to home-based business? What are some of the home-based business that uh, HDB and URA have uh, basically given some green light and you can use that as a guideline uh, to know whether your home-based business uh, is uh, acceptable? Uh, 
if you if your business doesn't fall into what I I'm going to mention, then uh, it's good for you to double check with the respective agency whether it's URA or HDB, depending on uh, where you are putting up uh, your business at. Right. So home based business, uh, there are two. There are, we can broadly spread into two types: uh, online or physical. Uh, what I mean by that is that online. Uh, so online. It's a very unique kind of home-based business. You are working out of home, so it's like it's more towards working out of home. Uh, when we talk about uh, online business, in this case, the e-market platforms, we are talking about the business that actually have the products uh, physically at your, at your house. So your home becomes a uh, storage for your products, and when you use it as a collection point to to either uh, pick up or deliver to your uh, customers. So those kind of contacts. But if you are doing an online business, uh, staying at home and you're doing uh, cross dock format where the product don't come to your home at all and there's nothing that happens in your house except uh, using the computer, then that's not really considered uh, under this home-based business model. Uh, Home-based business can be also as a social media. You can be engaging uh, using, you can be a blogger, for instance. Uh, you can be helping companies to uh, do their social media content. Uh, and therefore, at home, you, have, you do photography. Uh, you can do a lot of uh, uh, content writing uh, for such uh, companies. And therefore, that comes under online as well. Uh, physical, uh, there are services that people come to your house. For instance, uh, maybe uh, to, to get a haircut or pedicure, medicure, uh, those, those are come part of services. Or even tuition, I come to your house for tuition is uh, part of services as well. Um, then you have home studios uh, where you organizers like for instance, activities uh, like you do yoga, and you do like, for instance, uh, some form of exercise. Uh, I have a friend who does uh, uh, teaching tam uh, tambourine exercise uh, from home. Uh, so all these are considered as home studio. Uh, it's, it's, it's the form of home-based business as well. So broadly, these are some of the things we categorize as. Uh, there are definitely more, but uh, uh, to simplify for beginners, uh, this is a good way to to, separate, uh, to segregate them. So these are some of the permissible business uh, that uh, I've identified for you. Again, this list is not uh, comprehensive, but it just gives you some idea of uh, what can and cannot uh, be done or what are generally some of the things that some of the business that's already have been accepted. So baking on small scale. So when you say baking on small scales, it means that you're just doing normal baking. You're not using industrial standard uh, ovens and, and you cooking stuff. So that's, that's normally that's how they gauge whether uh, you are baking industrial standard or baking home base. So uh, do, do, do be mindful when you purchase equipment. If you are home based business, uh, your uh, scaling must uh, be reasonable. And again, do not disturb your neighbor. Uh, hairdressing, beauty, manicure, pedicure services. Uh, these are all uh, permissible, but again, uh, have to always keep in mind of the COVID-19 uh, safe management requirement. So sometimes uh, they may not be allowed. Uh, so you just have to double check to make sure that you uh, allow for home base during that period. Private tuition, this is uh, when you come to the house to do private tuition, uh, not more than three students at any time. So private tuition has always all along been a home based business, but today you will find more and more uh, private tuitions uh, be, uh, becoming uh, online. Uh, uh, they are a new industry basically that has that taken place uh, just a couple of years back. Um, I'm not sure whether some of you have heard of this game called uh, Fortnite. Uh, Fortnite is, uh, is uh, uh, kind of like multiplayer online game live. And uh, it is so serious that they are actually uh, companies that were set up to teach you, to coach you through the game. So it's, that means the, what, the, what these people does is that at home, they go into the game with you, they guide you and teach you how to play the game. So it's kind of like a tuition, but not academic. This is tuition on how to play online games. So that is uh, quite an interesting uh, industry. Uh, it is getting more and more popular actually, uh, especially the kids. Uh, they feel that uh, they need more help uh, to play the game better so that they can have bragging rights. Right, so these are these are new uh, sectors uh, on uh, industrial uh, retail. 
uh, sewing services, uh, you can uh, bring clothes to your house to sew and then uh, send back to the respective factory or businesses. Uh, you can work as a freelance artist, journalist, photographer, writers, you can do that at home. And uh, yeah, a lot of people uh, are doing photography from home actually. Uh, virtual business, uh, yoga and fitness, fitness lesson, you can do this. Uh, so you can do it from home where you can run yoga class and fitness class live uh, or recorded uh, from your home and uh, people either subscribe or they pay for your lessons. So music lessons, private tuition, uh, live hosting. Live hosting is something that is interesting as well where you get uh, maybe companies will send their products to you and you give a talk, a, a live stream talk uh, on selling the products uh, and you do it from home. So you don't have to go to a client place, but the product is being sent to you. So these are live stream hosting and there are a lot of uh, courses currently out there on live stream. Yeah. So uh, what can you do? So with all the knowledge, right? Uh, with all the knowledge, what are some of the things that you need to do uh, to equip yourself, right? To start uh, a home-based business. So, uh, so in this case, I'm just going to cover a few uh, possibilities. So if you are doing handicraft, uh, you're selling mobile accessories, you're selling some dry goods, you know, you, you brought in some honey uh, from overseas or uh, some beauty products like, uh, you know, essence, uh, flavor, uh, fragrant essence, uh, like some uh, products that are basically uh, what they call uh, moisturizers and stuff, but just keep in mind that if you have anything that uh, that, that is for moisturizer or consumption type, uh, make sure that you fulfill all the uh, requirements uh, for food uh, consumptions or for for uh, use on, on on the body on the hand, right? So that you're not your your lead and and uh, some of the toxin is not uh, above the requirement. So. Uh, E-commerce business, so this is when you mean that you go to a platform, you can use Shopee, Lazada, Q10, Carousel, any of these platforms or all the platforms to sell your products. Uh, these are these kind of platforms are free to start. So if you, 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 you do handicraft, you can sell it on any of this. Uh, you bring in uh, honey from Australia and you sell it, you can do that. Uh, the audience is very big. Uh, there's already, uh, within the, the platforms, they have already some inbuilt marketing. Uh, now, what, what are the difference here? Uh, they have commission. So if you sell something, when you list, it's not, uh, it's free. But when you sell, there's commission. So your margin may be lower. And therefore, you may want to price it higher. But sometimes your price is higher, it may be too expensive and you are out of the market. Okay, so that you need to keep in mind. Uh, you need to know to, how to run uh, the respective platform. If you are social media based commerce, that means you use social media as a way to sell products, uh, use social media as a way to to uh, engage people to uh, make it, like for instance, uh, you use Facebook to do appointments for your beauty uh, services or saloon services. Uh, then uh, this uh, this under social media commerce. Uh, again, social media commerce is free to start. You can set up a Facebook account, a Facebook shop very easily. Uh, audience is very large. Facebook audience in Singapore is very big. And again, this one is better still. There's no commission. So if you do a appointment style, there's no commission for you to uh, get uh, uh, customer or clients to make appointment with you on your Facebook uh, for the service that you're going to provide. Uh, but the, the challenge on, on all these Facebook, uh, Instagram, they are social media. And because of their social media, to that you need to uh, get people to come to your to your uh, your account or your business. Uh, although there are a lot of users, but not, them, not all of them know you. Actually, nobody will know you unless you promote it uh, through content. Uh, making your content interesting so people will want to come to your web, to your, to your Facebook or your Instagram to, to look at what you can offer. Uh, not just the products, but uh, what are the interesting things. Uh, so this following, how to get following. Uh, without following, you, you're not going to clock any any sales at all. So you need to build followers. And definitely Facebook is open to negative reviews. So there are people who are negative reviews because they are honest about what they have experienced, but they can also be competitor. 
So all these you have to manage. Uh, in in social media, there's no no such thing as you don't respond to any of the comments. You respond to all comments. It's just that you need to know how to respond to them, uh, in a most appropriate way. So that, that that will take you a bit of time in responding to negative reviews. Right. And uh, now, how about some simple home based business that's not online? You don't have. You're not. You're gonna do. Not gonna do any online stuff. Uh, you're not gonna do any social media stuff. Uh, so you just want a big way way. You just want to uh, do simple stuff, and promote it. Uh, uh, maybe through word of mouth, right? So, uh, so it's very easy to start. All right, you can just buy some equipment, simple equipment, and you can start baking at home. Uh, from uh, very simple to can be quite. Uh, as as you as you grow, you can increase your equipment and uh, making sure that you do not disturb the neighbors. I keep saying that. Uh, and minimum startup cost because you can start small. But uh, you need re you need a lot of word of mouth. You need people out there to talk about you. Uh, you need to be out there to engage people. Your network must be big. Uh, and economics of skills becomes tough because again, remember we cannot use industrial standard equipment. So. Uh, if your business starts to grow, uh, it becomes uh, hard to manage from home. You may then have to move to a factory or uh, redo it as a proper uh, business rather than home base. You can start a home base by moving on to a registered business. Right. Yep. So what are some of the new home based business that's out there? Uh, this is, I would say new as in probably during this COVID period since last year, uh, there are more and more yoga classes happening. Uh, fitness coaching, you can see a lot of them. Uh, you know, uh, there are people, I, I've seen one that actually uh, run with you. So this person will actually live stream and run together with you and coaching you and encouraging you as you both run together. Uh, so that's quite interesting, but that's more like one-to-one. -one. Uh, music lessons as well, uh, where a teacher will teach you through uh, live uh, on, on, on uh, Zoom or on some other streaming platform. Uh, private tuition has always been there. Uh, so now it's getting more popular. Uh, when I say private tuition, is not just academic, like I mentioned. It could be coaching in terms of uh, gaming. It could be anything, right? How to sing, how to dance. You know, there are a lot of private private uh, tuition out there and definitely uh, live hosting so uh, if you want to do this kind of uh, this kind of uh, business from home uh, again it's free to start yoga class you just probably need a mat and a camera uh, preferably if you are doing fitness and yoga uh, class you need more than one camera so they can uh, people can see at two angles uh, because uh, if not then the front facing may not be as uh, clear as how do you do some uh, maneuvers and some form of uh, you know whether you are jumping left or right and stuff like that uh, you need to be very engaging you you, you have to be online you, you have to really be uh, a celebrity type you cannot be very boring uh, so you need to be you know full of energy uh, you know and and just keep everybody going so engaging is very important uh, and immediate actions right so uh, they are what you ask people to do they will do uh, on the spot like especially live hosting they a lot of people on live hosting they'll say I uh, know if you click on this now and you purchase now um, you'll get 50% off so you get people to respond to you very quickly uh, in, in on, on the streaming uh, method uh, but the the there's always pros and cons. So the the negative part of it is that you need to have good content. If not, people will come in, they'll look at it, not interested, they will leave. Uh, you need to be very brave. You need to stand in front of people. Uh, you know, uh, so, so you just keep in your mind that you're talking to, uh, you know, a group of people. You need to engage them at the same time. You need to be courageous enough to know that, you know, you, you shouldn't be shy and quiet uh, because you're engaging people out there. Uh, so you open the negative feedback. They can be very live negative feedback that everybody can see immediately. So uh, you need to respond to that as well. And how you respond to that is again live. So you respond negatively. Uh, you may be quite uh, a serious repercussion. Uh, so these are some of the pros and cons. Um, but basically, before I end, this this is a, just a thought for all of you. Uh, most of us know our products and services. We, 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 because these are, these are uh, something that we, we do well, right? Uh, some of us big 
amazing uh, pandan chiffon cake, right? You know your product, you know how is it made, uh, you know how it tastes, you know, you know who will eat your eat, eat your product or buy your product. You know how to satisfy their needs, right? But I think the, the important thing here is that all this knowledge uh, are good, but uh, and then the first and foremost importance is how do you bring uh, this particular audience that's online or physical audience to you. So that is, I think, something that you really need to think about, uh, you know, of how you can draw customers uh, to your your service or your home uh, when you provide the services. So these are something that this is something that will keep keep your mind uh, occupied. Think about it uh, before you, you you think about you know what products. Uh, all of us have some products that we can sell, but most of, most company fail because they can't bring the, the customers into uh, their shop or in this case into your house uh, to buy your product or your service so that has to be uh, one key question that you need to ask